Okay, so what I've done here, I've logged into um, Enterprise Quoting. So Enterprise Quoting, uh, we'll call it EQ from, from now on, so I don't have to say that every time. <laughs> Enterprise Quoting EQ is uh, basically the portal where your, um, your uh, internal salespeople or dealers, where all of that quote and order information lies for them. So if you are an internal salesperson in your organization, or if you're in the dealer or distributor network, when you log into EQ, this is a sample of what your homepage would look like. Now, mine is not that exciting. It's just for demo purposes. So I don't have anything too crazy built up in here just yet. Um, but just an idea of different things that you can have in here, obviously an image, you can bookmark to your frequently used areas. Um, over here where it says posts, it's kind of like a social feature. So think of it as almost like a Facebook kind of share, um, where for instance, an internal salesperson would be able to share a quote to the group um, the whole internal sales group and ask for feedback on something. And then, you know, you could go into that, you can pop it out, view the details. So it links right to the quote. We won't go to it, but it does, I promise. And then um, other users would be able to comment and say, hey, you know, maybe fix this spot or looks good, that sort of thing. So kind of a neat little social feature there, um, but we won't get too into that. We want to get into the, um, the good stuff today. So we'll go right over to a direct quote. All right. And then I'm going to be acting as an internal salesperson today. Um, and I'm going to start here on the quote grid. Um, so this shows all of the different quotes within your organization. So again, if this were, were a dealer or distributor situation, each dealer would get their own unique login and password. So when they would log in, they would just see their grid of quotes here. They wouldn't see anybody else's. Um, but again, I'm an internal salesperson today. So I'm going to create a new quote. Okay, so this is what the out of the box quote page is going to look like for you. We're going to go up here, we're going to select a customer, and then we'll go to my favorite customer, Moonwalk Industries. Okay, and then we're going to select a contact, John Glenn. And then over here in our summary, you can see all of these different options. Again, completely customizable. So if you don't really use PO numbers, you would just want to use a quote name, for instance that's something that you would be able to uh, tailor to what your organization needs. Um, so let's go, go ahead and get into the product catalog. So this has got the Amazon kind of look and feel. This is where all, all the magic happens. It's where all of your products are going to be. So if you're a company that has a lot of different products, you know, um, or not that many um, that you would want to be configuring, this could look pretty different for you. You might only have a couple categories here, or you might have a hundred. Um, but for us today, we're going to go ahead, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper and go right to the 3D category. And as you can see, when I do that, we have these, again, Amazon kind of like filtering tools. We can sort by price, we can sort by configurable, um, which are our adjustable, buildable items, or non-configurable would be items that uh, maybe like a part to something that you sell that, that you don't want people to configure, but it might go with your product. Um, that's where that could come into, into play. So we'll go ahead and hit configurable. We're going to configure a forklift today. Okay. So again, out of the box, this is what it looks like. This can be tailored to your company's branding, whatever kind of UI, UX look and feel that you want is something that can be achieved, but this is just the um, plain Jane out of the box look, which I don't think is too bad. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll make our first selection here. We're going to uh, choose a 2,000 pound forklift. And then over here on the right, we have a static image. It looks like it's working on it um, that will appear. And there we go um, for, for our product. So that is one option of what you would be able to do. Um, another option is you could add on 3D um, or 2D drawings, if that's something that your company utilizes as well. Um, but obviously the 3D is pretty flashy. We can um, zoom in and out, pretty neat, neat feature there. Um, and then let's us see in real time what we have going on when we make our selections over here. So let's go ahead and talk about the buttons over here. So this again, however you need it to look and feel, if it makes more sense for you and your products to have these drop downs, to have radio buttons, fill in the blanks, anything like that can be done. Um, another thing I want to point out here, we'll go ahead and choose gasoline in this case, and you can see it prompts us right into the next set of selections to be made, but you can have it built up so that 
you know, if I go here and I'm a, a salesperson or a dealer and I select diesel, well, now it comes up with a notice that's been built in um, for my business rules. Well, we can't use diesel fuel on an indoor model for safety reasons. So that's a nice little notification that you could have, you know, built up so that you could help with the guided selling aspect um, and making sure your customers or your um, salespeople know what an invalid selection is. It's kind of like a foolproof <laughs> way to set things up and make things, you know, roll a lot smoother for your whole sales process. So we'll go back to gasoline so it doesn't yell at us anymore. And then we'll make some basic selections here. Um, I'm not a forklift expert, but um, I think these look pretty good so far. We will proceed to our next options. Okay, so we'll add on a couple of things, maybe some joystick controls. Um, John Glenn has stated he would like a keyless ignition on his forklift, so we'll add that in for him. Mast height of eight feet, so you can see dynamically this has changed over here when we made that selection. Um, and then we'll select a new color, a nice camo, because that's what a warehouse wants to see is a camouflage forklift. <laughs> um, and then we've changed our seat color as well. Okay, so now that we've made all these selections, let's get back over into this right panel again. So we can take a look over here at the detail. Um, in our case here, the detail is showing kind of like pricing detail. So any of our selections we made that, you know, we're going to add on to the cost, it's all coming up in this detail panel. Whereas the summary, if we look at that, that shows every selection that we have or have not made today. So everything looks good at this point. We're going to go ahead, we're going to finish our configuration, and it's going to kick us right back to our quote page. So we'll take a look here. If we expand right here, we can see our summary of what we have um, added to this quote. We're going to label it, and we'll say first attempt. And then we'll go to a requested ship date. He wants it shipped uh, next Tuesday, of course. Um, all right, so we've got all of our options here. Now let's go ahead, let's take a look at what this is actually going to look like when the customer receives it. So we're going to go up here. Um, you can see we have a couple of options here. We can either generate a document or we can email a document. A lot of folks these days just want to quote email to them. That doesn't demo quite so well. So we're going to take a look um, at just viewing a PDF of the document. So here are all of our different options. We can go ahead look at a preview version of this. Okay, so this is gonna pop up here. We can see all of our details that we filled in, our build to, our ship to. A lot of this here, not applicable to what we're doing today, but all of this could obviously be built out to what you needed it to be. Um, we scroll down here, we've got a nice summary, again, with that static image. Uh, all of his or most of his options here have been included. Um, and then we've got our pricing at the end. So just keeping in mind with these documents, again, um, completely customizable to what you need it to be. So if you use sales proposals, you know, with a beautiful cover sheet or something like that, um, not a problem at all. Uh, these are actually able to be edited in Word um, through a program called ExperDoc. Um, so you can create any kind of quote template that you need through there. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll get out of this. And then let's take a look real quick over here in our quote summary. Um, let's look at our pricing details. So we have a lot of options. This is also, again, really great for internal salespeople when you're trying to set up kind of parameters that they need to go by. In my case here, it's kind of open-ended. I can make whatever just adjustments I need to, but you would be able to set it up, you know, so that for instance, your default discount, I couldn't go more than, you know, 25%. So we'll just mess with it for a minute, see what it looks like. So here we've got a 10% discount. Um, we can add in a tax depending on, you know, if it's an out-of-state customer or, you know, other counties, something like that. You can add in that tax, shipping and handling. We'll do a quick little adjustment there. And um, we'll do another extra heavy charge of $100. Okay, so now we've got our updated pricing details from there, and then we can go back to our lines. Okay, so one other um, thing I wanna show 
real quick before we get into the question and answer section, um, is the ability to create a different version of this quote. So let's say that we've sent this quote to John Glenn and he loved it, but he wants to see another version of it. Can't be on the same page, but he wants to see another version of it. Um, that would be a forklift without a keyless ignition. So what we can do here, we can um, go up to our more button. We can create a new version. Okay, there we go. Okay, so basically it kind of duplicated what we already did. We can toggle up here between versions one and two, but it copied over our item. So now we can go in here, we can change our options on it. Okay, and so it was over on the second page. So now we're gonna go ahead, we'll deselect keyless ignition and we can see then we bumped down his price for that. So we can finish up that. And now we have version two of his quote with no keyless ignition. And then, oh, I just clicked on it again. And then back to version one that has with the keyless ignition. I didn't adjust any of the pricing details that we did in version one, but you get the idea. Um, so then we would be able to send both of those versions to John so he has an apples to apples comparison. So that is the basics um, of how, how everything works with the configurator, building out a product. Um, again, super high level. These are just meant to be kind of bite-sized demos that give you a good feel of the product. 